love for your mommy. I know you wanna be somebody, even if you gotta leave somebody. beautiful people and welcome back to my channel if you're new here welcome my name is Cassie and I make faith related and medical related videos welcome to another vlog give vlog give vlog give vlog give vlog <laughs> I told you in my previous vlog that I was going to be traveling somewhere soon and um I am officially in Pretoria South Africa and yeah guys this is going to be a vlog of my stay here in Pretoria South Africa and everything that I get up to probably even just my activities I'll get up to when I go back to Lusaka but today is Wednesday the 21st of February and um I arrived today I left yesterday um I came in by bus so I started off from Lusaka on Tuesday and then I came in today um Wednesday I arrived this morning like around 3 a.m I have freshened up as you can see and we're about to go in Galavant and check out places we're currently in centurion so i'm going to check out the centurion more and just walk around the neighborhood and just familiarize ourselves with everything yeah so i came with a friend of mine from church um agrippa and we're here for the g12 annual conference so the g12 annual conference is basically a conference of the g12 movement i will not go into details about it because i do plan to cover it on my podcast um life and light in one of these months but it's just a discipleship movement, um, which is like a church movement to just uh, fulfill the Great Commission, go out and win souls and make disciples and just like, how can I summarize it? Like each individual makes 12 disciples around them the way Jesus did. He gave us the blueprint and just doing that and replicating it again and again and again. So your 12 disciples also make 12 disciples around them, which makes 144 people. And then those 144 people also make 12 disciples around them. And basically it's just a blueprint to go out into the world and just make disciples of all nations, as the Bible says. So yeah, I'll try and put a link for more information in the description bar below. But we have we're here for the annual conference. It's in Pretoria, South Africa, and it's going to be two days. So I'm really, really excited. I'm excited about what I'm going to learn. It's a movement that was introduced to me by my pastor, my current pastors, and they're just teaching us how to really go out and win souls and disciple people for the glory of God and just like you know save the nations to the glory of God. And um yeah it's just like i'm learning so much and so to come here and actually be with people who are actually replicating this and to learn more about it and to see it manifested and to see the effect of it like it's just really really nice i'm happy i'm really happy i'm here so yeah guys that is uh what i'm here for in south africa it's going to be two days and then i'm going to be heading back on sunday flying back to zambia on sunday so yeah, i did decide to come with a bus and fly back um when coming we used jordan 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 motors and it wasn't bad you guys like i think if i'm to come again i would probably do a bus again like it really was a very peaceful trip number one the bus was in full we were very few on the bus maybe that's why it was so peaceful but also number two like the bus was just comfortable um the service was good like it was just a very good bus ride and it didn't take long we passed through Botswana. i remember back when i was a student uh when I used to come to South Africa a lot, I used to use uh, Zimbabwe with the bus. Uh, yeah, but we used Botswana, which was really, really nice. And we started off at 3.30 a.m. And we reached at 3.40 the following day. So it was exactly 24 hours. Like, it was a very peaceful ride. I can't complain, honestly. It was a really, really good ride. But yeah, you guys. So, um, yeah, right now we are about to head to the mall to go and gallivant and look for stuff and just like see the place and see what we'll find 
there are some stuff that i need to check for specifically my mom has asked me to check for some multivits for her so i'm definitely going to the pharmacist the pharmacies and then another thing is i want mcdonald's like i want mcdonald's i haven't, I haven't had mcdonald's in like six years since i was in china in 2018 i was in america in 2019 but i never had mcdonald's i don't know why i really don't know why i never had mcdonald's i had whataburger i had domino's pizza i had so much stuff but i never had mcdonald's and then um 2020 i came back and i have traveled like i went to tanzania although i was told there's no mcdonald's in tanzania but i have traveled out here and there but i just haven't had my mcdonald's guys i want mcdonald's like that's the only thing i want to eat today as my mcdonald's so yeah guys we're going to be heading out and um yeah uh, I'm really excited about this trip. My pastors are coming in today, so we're going to be my two pastors, husband and wife, and then um, a group from my church, the one I traveled with, and myself. So with the four of us, and of course meeting people from all over the world. People have traveled here from South America, from Europe, from America, like from all over the world. People have come in for this conference, so I'm really excited for the amount of people we're going to meet and just for everything that we're going to learn. But yeah, people, let me head out and um, yeah go and check out this place i'm really excited like just coming into south africa i haven't been here in more than 10 years i think the last time i was in south africa was 2011. wow that's like 13 years ago the last time i was in south africa was 2011 and i'm really really happy to be here like i can't lie i'm really really excited to be here and um just everything is so familiar yet so different and the vibe the atmosphere is so familiar yet so different and yeah i lived in this place for about 10 years from the time i was like maybe 9 10 until i was like about 18 19 so i lived here for a very long time and i lived in johannesburg though south from where i am right now on the east east Rand. that's where i grew up and it's just so nice to be finally back i don't want to say it's nice to be home because you know Zambia is my home but it's just so nice like it was so bittersweet because like it was just so nice you guys it's so nice to be here unfortunately I'm not really even going to Calavant and go places um I'm just going to be here in Pretoria because the conference is here and yeah anyway let me not chat too much I'll see you guys uh, a little bit later let me go in Calavant and hopefully find McDonald's <laughs> That's why she's so happy. Okay, let me, let me, let me. No, 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 Cassie and McDonald's, they look each other. Cassie and McDonald's. So we had to switch shoes, well, 
my slipper cut, the sun, and a gripper out of the kindness of his heart decided to give me one shoe of his. So we are matching half half. <laughs> Oh, that's the stage. Wow. Wow. So 2,000 per service and there are two services. Of course. Say hi. Hi, guys. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> we are Sanjurian. We are... <laughs> <laughs> we are um, on our way to meet our pastors. Yep. Where, where did we come from? We went to see the church. We went, went to, to 3C. To 3Cs. And it's the main beautiful. church. It's very, very beautiful. Inside, yo man, that thing looks good. But the place where the conference is going to be, I yeah. want to see it. I, I also can't wait to see it. So the 3C church is here in um, Centurion. But the conference is going to be held in Moraleta Park, which hosts, you said 10,000 people, yeah? yeah 10, and I can't 000, wait to see the venue. 10,000 seats, guys, for the conference. I'm so guys. excited. So that's where we'll be going, hopefully, tomorrow. I'm but the you, conference. Next, next time, you should come. You understand? <laughs> you should follow us. We are very people who are enjoying the life of God. Amen. Now, when you say, Amen. Christian, born again Christians are suffering. Look at us. At <laughs> Don't but, why, a but why are you shouting at my people? <laughs> why are you shouting no, at no, my people? No, I'm sorry for shouting you, but forgive me. Don't be a circumference of me. That's a gripper, guys. If you know him in real life, you know that he's a very special case. Mm. Anyway, we're going to meet our pastors. We're taking a walk right now. Um, in the street and we're going back to the mall where we were this morning and that's where we're going to meet them. They're already there? Um, they are gonna find us at the Mozambique restaurant. Yeah, they'll find us at Mozambique. <laughs> hey guys good morning and welcome to thursday the second day of our trip i'm with mr agrippa hey guys and we are currently at 3c church if you guys can see it over there in the background so we are currently seated outside in the garden and we're waiting for our pastors pastor denise and pastor terry to come and pick us up um we don't know the program for the day yet do we uh we actually you mentioned that we are going to the biggest mall oh yes yeah denise told me that we're going to the biggest mall yeah but we're waiting for them to come and pick us hello, hello. How are you? Uh -huh. How are you, sir? good thank you so yeah we're waiting for them to come and pick us up and then yeah is going to be i'm going to give you guys a little bit of a tour today was such a lovely day we spent the day with our pastors at the mall had some lunch and then um we've got in here and they're kind of like just running through last minute things they're about to do a sound check 
so if they're doing a sound check of course i won't film inside you'll probably see the place tomorrow but if they haven't just started the sound check i'm going to just give you guys a small tour of the place but yeah um yeah we're going to be here just doing preparations for the conference tomorrow and then go home probably rest and then it's officially day one tomorrow and i'm so excited about that so i'm looking forward to that um yeah i'm in the bathroom right now as you can see i can use the bathroom and i'm about to go back outside but i don't think there's anything much i'm going to show after this i'll show you guys the venue but after that we'll probably just go home and rest and do nothing i'll definitely see you guys tomorrow so this is the outside of the Moraleta church it's so wide like the gate is all the way down there i actually wanted to give you guys a view of like the drive up because it's like a whole lot of parking slots and trees and it's a park and it's so gorgeous and then this is the building the building is really huge it goes all the way around there so this is entrance seven six five and then there are like four more around the curve that side it's a really huge building you guys it's so beautiful i'm sure there'll be more life tomorrow um when everyone comes in i don't know what building that is and there's another building somewhere that side i don't know what it is but i think this is like the main auditorium um i think there'll be more life tomorrow of course when people are around it's quite empty right now but yeah guys this is basically it let me see if i can take a walk down that side and show you guys what's there so this is the huge foyer all the way from that end goes all the way to this side um around the whole front of the auditorium so this is where the conference is you guys that is the theme of the year the great harvest but look at how huge this place is let me show you on this side it has like two sections upstairs two floors it's like ten thousand people i think the view is better from up here look at that wow that's the little media area it's huge <laughs> beautiful people good morning and welcome to a brand new day today is friday the 23rd of january i just finished getting ready i need to remove this scarf um it's just laying my edges but i just finished getting ready um tied my hair up half up half down white round earrings a chain and i'm wearing this blue striped shirt wearing plain uh faded blue jeans and sandals and i'm carrying my black bag so yeah this is my outfit for day one of the conference we're currently waiting to be picked up once we're picked up we're going to be headed to the conference which is at moraleta park um i think i should get that to you guys in a video yesterday so we're going to be headed to the conference and then um yeah from this it's going to be conference time you guys uh i'm really really happy and i'm so excited um, I did want to correct something I said in the video. I think I gave some wrong information previously in the video talking about the conferences. Um, I think I said like there are two. There's actually more than two. Um, the conferences are held multiple times throughout the year in different places. Um, the movement itself originated with a pastor called Caesar Castellanos. I really hope I don't butcher his name, but he's from Bogota, Colombia in South America. And he's the one who got the vision of, you know, uh, disciples of 12 and building teams of 12 and multiplying it. And it's just kind of like taking the world by storm and everyone has adopted it. And it's just really, really nice, honestly, because um, I have seen how practical it is. And it's based on um, these four pillars, win, consolidate, disciple, send like i said i won't really go into details about it in this video because i do want to cover it in my podcast but yeah so he is here for the conference and i'm sure we're going to hear him, him speak and i can't wait to hear him speak and yeah like just get ignited with the passion for the movement and for um evangelism and winning souls and everything i'm so excited you guys like i'm really really excited anyway yeah so uh conference is starting at nine and the time right now is seven fifty. 
so yeah we'll be picked up shortly we'll go over to the place we'll do registration and everything and then we'll go in and start the conference um yeah i've met a lot of wonderful people i'm so excited you guys like everyone here is so friendly and nice i've met the most amazing people i've made new friends um it's just been a very good experience and i'm sure i'll tell you more about it once everything is over before we go back to zambia bunch of people so uh yeah we're going to be picked up shortly um i'm just doing my last touches before i head out and then uh from there i'll see you guys a little bit later <laughs> glasses sometimes i don't even recognize myself say hello. hi Mus. hi guys how are you doing today was amazing we just hey. finished um the first day of the conference you guys and it was amazing we had six speakers in total right yeah we had six speakers today and each guys the word after the word after the word after the word it was just such a beautiful experience we learned a lot oh hold on Hey guys sorry for ending the video short um i was talking to people that were going home with so we're trying to decide what to do uh after the service uh we're trying to decide where to go actually because we want to go out for dinner so we're trying to decide where to go but yeah mm, i am not vlogging the people that i'm with i don't know if you guys have noticed uh unless they're comfortable or i'm comfortable with them being on camera but you know like vlogging people you have to explain to them what you're doing you have to get consent to post them on your channel and some people may not be comfortable with it because even where i'm staying i don't know if you guys have noticed like where i'm staying keeps changing because we're living in people's houses but i'm not vlogging the surrounding because i think it's a little bit rude um to vlog in people's houses of course i don't think they would mind if i asked but i'm just not personally comfortable with it so right now i'm sitting by a car if you can see and I'm waiting, uh, then uh, the one who's taking us, who's driving us, has just gone to do something quickly. She's the head usher uh, here where we're staying. So she's going to do something quickly, and then from there, I think when she comes back, we'll make the decision of where to go. Yeah, I was really telling you guys about the sessions today. We had six speakers from different places. From Colombia, we had the man who started the vision. Uh, pastor caesar and then we had people from hawaii people from america people from south africa um and it was just so amazing to hear like guys we had someone from the philippines but everyone had the same vision and the same knowledge of the vision and the word was just powerful because we kept getting confirmation after confirmation and everyone was saying the same thing like uh, it's so convicting like you know today like as um i think it was pastor bert who was preaching who was talking about how sometimes you use business as an excuse and he spoke about how 
you know, in our times, people are on self-love because the Bible says love others as you love yourself. So learn how to love yourself. And I won't lie, that's something I believed. And I think I even, I've spoken about it on this channel before where I said, oh, I want to grow in self-love because I want to learn how to love people more because um, the Bible says love others as yourself. But it's a very selfish motive because it puts the focus on self rather than another person. And I just can't explain it the way he explained it but like he just gave me a very deep revelation and i just realized that sometimes we're playing guys we use excuses for anything like business sometimes you say work i'm on call what but you use excuses for anything other than doing the work of the kingdom of god and ish, guys okay i don't want to ruin the message because i know i won't be able to really explain it effectively the way i received it but i was just so heavily convicted and I think it's just time to change in my life. It's time for a new life and a new direction and just to really walk with God and choose to honor him and love his people. And I just feel my life being transformed in that regard. And I'm just really happy. I'm really, really happy. Like, I'm really happy. I'm not a perfect human being, but I'm just happy that God is choosing to use me. Yeah. Anyway, people, um, I'm going to end this here now. Uh, I'm waiting for people to come now you know like sorry sidebar i've noticed my south african accent keeps coming out now because um i whenever i speak to people i speak to them in the accent they speak to me in so if i speak to um like the time i was in china for example i speak to a chinese person i'll speak to them in the accent they're using if i speak to a zambian person i'll speak in the zambian accent if i speak to so like lately because now i'm in south africa i'm finding myself using more south african slang and the south african accent i used to use back when i used to live here i feel like i thought it was gone but i'm feeling it coming out more and more because i'm surrounded because i'm surrounded by these people but yeah <laughs> that's just a sidebar i just noticed about myself but all right people uh i'm sure i'll take you guys along for dinner and then we'll see what we're going to get up to and i will see you guys a little bit later i don't know if we'll talk if we do not talk then this is going to be goodbye and good night and i will see you tomorrow on day two of the conference but if we do talk then i will see you guys later good morning beautiful people and welcome to another day today is saturday it is officially the last day of the conference and yeah guys time has really flown actually i'm a little bit sad that i have to go back tomorrow i remember when we were buying the tickets the person that i was traveling with kept saying for the return tickets let's like get them on let's like get them later on during the week so that we stay like for a few extra days and I was like, no, I got stuff to do because I do genuinely have stuff to do um, in Zambia, in Osaka, this week, <laughs> next week, actually. But now I'm like, I could have squeezed in like two days. <laughs> Why didn't they get a ticket for like Tuesday or something, you know? But yeah, but it's all good. I'm okay. I'm ready to go home tomorrow. Um, although I have had the time of my life here and i think i probably will become um a regular comer to south africa um because initially i just kept saying i'm a good cape town i'm a good, good good cape town i'm an opportunity would present to come to like Gauteng, joburg pretoria i'd be like for what for what but now i feel like i have reason um to come to joburg like it's just i've had such a good time i really had such a good time um, by the way, I'm putting on sunscreen because it's hot, guys. It's hot here. And yeah, I got sunburned yesterday. Like, my hands got really, really sunburned. I don't know if you guys would be able to see it on video, but my hands got sunburned because I would wash them and then I never got to put sunscreen. So they really, really got sunburned. But yeah, people. So last night was amazing. When we finished the service, uh, we didn't end up going out because our hosts had cooked dinner and so we came home and had dinner we had bab and shima um with some sausage and cabbage and it was just a nice meal to sit together and eat and then after eating we kind of just like sat around at the table and chatted i think we chatted for like two hours because when we got home there was no power power had cut um load shedding 
so we had like a candlelight dinner and then towards the end of the dinner when we were clearing the plates that's when power came back and then we ended up just sitting at the table for like two hours and just talked and it was so therapeutic like we just talked we bonded we spoke about our traumas and what we're all going through this is me the person i traveled with um and our hosts husband and wife so it was like the four of us at the table and it was just guys it's like it's so important to have christian people who understand real life you know not people who over spiritualize everything and just say oh pray about it oh this oh this but people who've been through things and choose to still glorify god in everything that they do and that's just the conversation that we had why is it so hard yeah as i was saying that's just the conversation that we had like it was just a bunch of broken people coming together and choosing to live their life in honor of god and talking about what we've been through and what we've experienced and everything and it was just a beautiful conversation to have honestly like one of the most authentic conversations i've had since i came to south africa so yeah people um i'm currently getting ready for the last of the conference of course uh just dressing up i don't have anything to wear i might wear the same jeans i wore yesterday because the pants that i came with apparently i've lost weight since i've been here so they are not sitting on me well number one and i didn't really plan the outfit well when leaving kitwe i kind of just in my mind thought this and this will go together so i packed them but now that i'm here and i'm seeing it on me it just doesn't really flatter me so i'm debating whether i'm going to wear those pants if not i'm going to just wear these jeans that i'm wearing right now but yeah i'm gonna decide that once i finish doing my makeup i'll go to the mirror and see myself properly uh yeah stands in front of you. Is that okay, folks? Yes, no. ...in the blue shirts, they can help you with their phone, but please, before you go back to your seat, we want to call you, visit you, speak to you, help you. You're not part of our family. It's a crazy family, but it's a great family. Yes. Yes. We, we want to encourage you. You can't do Jesus by yourself. Yes. You are meant to be connected. You are meant to belong. And together we become. Are you with me? Yes. So please point your phone to that QR code if you are in the front for salvation or for recommitment. Please, whichever it may be, if you can go there and fill in all of your details.
just to say how much you mean to me What would you do if I told you you were beautiful? Would you date me on the regular? Tell me, would you? Well, baby, I've been around the world But I ain't seen myself another girl like you Good morning, beautiful people, and welcome to another brand new day. Today is Sunday, and it's officially the day of returning to my mother country. <laughs> um, the time right now should be 7.30 or almost 8. We're going to be leaving for the airport soon. Um, our flight is at 11.50, but we are going early because um, the couple here have to go for church. So they drop us off earlier and then go to church and we'll just wait by the airport because they couldn't drop us after church because it would be too late. But yeah. Um yeah guys, the conference has officially come to an end and I'm bittersweet about it, you know. I'm so happy for everything that was deposited within me because guys I feel like I've had a whole mindset shift and I just wish it could have gone on for like a week. <laughs> But I know, um, of course, like, it was just the perfect amount of time. And when I tell you guys that the presence of God was so evident and so powerful in that place. I remember the first day, actually, the opening scene was like a little play act of someone who was in chains. And, um, you know, Jesus came and set them free. And then he went out and started getting other people who were in their own form of bondages and just bringing them to the cross. And, you know, I've seen this play multiple times growing up. If you've grown up in church... Maybe we've even acted the play, you know, it's a very common play, but like just from the opening scene that like the first day, that's what they started with. And the cross was like in the center of the stage and there was a light on the cross. Guys, I was crying. I was crying from the first moment. I was just like, oh my God, the presence of God was so evident in that place. Another thing. These are like two pivotal moments. Another part is um when Pastor Shane, who is the senior pastor's wife for Three C Church, Pastor Shane preached her message and then she made an altar call. When I tell you guys, we had probably more than five hundred people going to the altar to receive Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior, and they were led in the prayer of salvation. I was crying, like. <laughs> I was crying because the presence of the Holy Spirit was so evident, number one. And number two, I was crying for the amount of souls that have just been saved from an eternity of doom and crossed over to light. And I had so many other moments during the messages when people were sharing uh, testimonies, worship. Like, it was just so wonderful. The presence of God was like, it was amazing. And, you know, I've just left with this newfound mentality of, Sometimes, guys, we're we are playing, we play, we play on this earth. But I've just been convicted and, you know, um, I just want to do better. I want to be better for the glory of God, you know. There are many people who are hungry uh, and in need of Jesus. They are screaming, literally. And sometimes we just don't help. <laughs> But anyway, I like I said, I'm, I can't effectively communicate the messages I received because number one, I'm still digesting them. They're still roaming in my heart. But also number two, um, they are just a good reminder for me. I do believe um, they would help someone else. I do believe that and I'll share my version with that person. But for me, they were a very huge conviction. Um, of something that I just need to work on and improve and yeah guys like just start living for Jesus yeah anyway um, <laughs> uh, we are going to be living probably the next 30 minutes or next one hour so I just want to go out I'm in the room right now but I just want to go out say hi to everyone socialize a little bit and then I'm sure I'll be headed to the airport Um, yeah it's been a wonderful stay and I loved it. I loved every second of it. I loved the conference. I loved going around the malls, the shopping. I loved everything. And I'm so happy that I came. And I will be coming back more often now. Um, Not only for the conferences. Because I have another conference in September. And I'm coming back for the G12 conference next year. 
but also just in between for like activities or fun or something yeah and the couple that hosted us were the most amazing couple so lovely so friendly and um yeah it would be nice to come and see them again we'll stay in communication but how are you people um let me go outside now uh i'm gonna miss this place like it's a beautiful country honestly and i'm definitely gonna miss the church and everything that happened but i will see you guys a little bit later probably on the zambian side or at the airport because i do want to eat something at the airport i've decided to go have breakfast at the airport because i'm craving a mug and bean quesadilla and that's what i just want to eat i hope that we're able to serve it in the morning but yeah all right people see you later and i never been embraced and the money's hard to make so i bet they on their face right now when he tell the story that's not how i went know they be lying a hundred percent moved out of the wrist and forgot about that bit why they just call me to tell me come get it now that boy off and i don't want no credit if it was me they wouldn't regret it let me be dead and now they won't get it heart is still beating my niggas still eat it thank you to the little like the garden they eat it let us all get them spilling the tea Oh yes, what is it? Uh, did you make the CDs? Yeah. No, you stopped. That was my favorite thing at Mag and Bay. Why did you stop? I know, right? Hey guys, I'm officially back in Zambia. I'm at my sister's place. There's my sister. Hi guys. I'm officially in Zambia. <laughs> <laughs> and we are about to go to um what is it called? The Great Escape. Yeah, it's the Great Escape. Uh, check it out. We're going to check it out. Me, my sister, my other sister, my sister's kids, my cousin and her son. And yeah, we're just going to play and have fun literally. Oh yeah.